Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. What a wonderful Savior. His name shall be praised. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Elder Ruffin, Prophet Ruffin, Brother Ruffin, amen. Thank God for Christian Care Ministries, amen. That's a God-given design with you in mind, amen. Yeah, this is definitely the beginning of sorrows. There's disasters, there's earthquakes, there's all kind of problems and issues going on, and it's time for us to let the sun shine out of us, amen. Amen. It's time for the church to rise up. Amen. And let the love of God abide. Amen. Let it spread uh, throughout this world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Yes, it's all about uh, love. That's right. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. If you believe, in the Lord Jesus Christ, as your Savior and as your Redeemer, then you're going to have love one to another. If you really believe that you've been saved from sin, shame, and reproach, you really want to go to heaven and not end up in hell, then you're going to love one another. It's all about love. Mm -hmm. Let the sun shine out of you. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. It's something, you know, one day, uh, repent of sin, yeah. Because all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Everybody has sinned, yeah, and come short of the glory of God. So repent and be baptized. Uh, there's a burial there, yes, mm-hmm, yes. Uh, there is a burial. A baptism is submersion is a burial. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about sprinkling, and we're not talking about saying a few words and dabbing your head. We're talking about going down under, yeah, all the way under, yes, covered uh, by the water, and the Lord troubles the water. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. It's an operation of faith, baptism, mm -hmm. and there's a purpose in baptism. It's for the remission of sins. Uh, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Sure enough, yeah, the promise is unto you and to your children and to all those that are far off, even as many as our Lord God shall call. And the Lord is calling you today. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, you that are in the byways and highways of life. Mm -hmm. You that are on the road of damnation. Uh, uh, you that have been cursed uh, and have want to be blessed. Uh, you can turn things around by repenting and being baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, for the removal of sin. If we want the sun to shine, amen, uh, out of our lives, I'm... Um, uh, if we want to show forth the spiritual blessings uh, that we've been blessed with all spiritual blessings, uh, then we will let the love of God uh, shine out of our lives. Um, we will be a different maker. Uh, we will be a person that has impact uh, upon those that we come in contact with. Uh, I'm talking, amen, about the sunshine love. I'm talking about the love of God blossoming out of you. Uh, I'm talking about you saying no to sin um, and let the love of God abide within you. Oh, yes, um, that you might spread forth, yeah, uh, the love of God uh, one another. Yes, mm, that's a commandment uh, that the disciples received. Uh, I give you a new commandment mm, that you love one another. Yes, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. When we look at uh, this epistle of John uh, in this fourth chapter, it's all about love. Yes, it is. It's all about love. Can't make it to heaven without love. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. In verse number 12, no man have seen God at any time. No, you haven't. <laughs> no, you have not. No. no. If we love one another, mm -hmm. God dwells in us and his love 
is perfected in us. It's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, King Saul, uh, that's why he lost out, because he didn't give his heart to God. Oh, no. Uh, he was taking care of his own heart. Uh, he had his own agenda, his own motive. Amen. So he did not prosper. He did not laugh. Oh, yeah. He was continued to be king, even though he didn't have an anointing. <laughs> Yeah, God got, got rid of him, sure enough, and he was still in his position. Yeah, but he didn't have what it took. Amen. You got people today. Amen. Yeah, got people today. Got people in management. Yes, we do. Yeah, uh, they don't have a clue what they're doing. They don't know how to manage the job or the people, but they're in that position because somebody gave it to them. Yes. Uh huh. You know, whether it was a family member, sure, or whether it was a friend, somebody that they knew, amen. But they didn't have the it. You know what I mean? They, they just didn't have it. Yeah. And you asked them a question uh, concerning the company and uh, what you would like done. And you said, Well, I don't know. I have to ask somebody. Hey, you're a manager. You ought to know how to manage. <laughs> uh, you got the lover in you. Uh huh. God is love, He's the lover of our soul. We got him in there. We know how to love. We know how to treat one another. We know how to be kind-hearted, tender-hearted, forgiving one to another. That's right, because we have the abiding sunshine uh, that never goes out. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hereby know, verse number 13, 1 John 4, Hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us because he has given us of his spirit. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. You act like that because you're being saved. And you act like that because you're not saved. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You live in the same house with this person and you don't even talk to them? That is not love. Mm -hmm. Now, it's different if you're not physically able to talk. Then you would have to learn sign language to be able to communicate. But your body language, your sign language, is all about hate. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because when you love someone, you're kind to them. You treat them right. You just don't walk past them and don't say anything. And you've never said, I love you. You live in the same house with the same person year after year, month after month, day after day, and you never breathe the word freely, I love you. Ah, that's about nothing. Mm -hmm. The devil possessing you. Yeah, you are devil possessed. Yes, you are. Because the devil don't know how to love. All he knows how to do is to hate and lie. Yeah, and, and be disruptive. Yes, I remember... Uh, Years ago, I went to Warner Hills High School, and uh, I remember uh, uh, Mr. Ludicky, uh, uh assistant principal at that time, and uh, I remember him knocking me up against uh, the lockers uh, uh, in the hallway. And the reason he did that, he had took me out of class because I was disrupting the class. And he told me, he said, all right, Lewis, he says, I'm, uh, I'm Scotty Office, I'm going to call you my. So hold it, hold it, <laughs> hold everything. Yeah, I've told this story a lot of times. Hold everything. I said, uh, I promise you, I will not disrupt uh, any class anymore. I won't, I won't be a problem. Uh, I, I am, I'm so sorry. I'm t I was pleading for my case, just I was, because I did not want that man to call my home. Because I loved and respected my parents, mm -hmm. and they put the fear of them and God in me of the way I was raised. And nobody else was ever in trouble in school, mm -hmm. all seven of us. I didn't want to be the only one, amen, to get uh, a call from the principal saying uh, Lewis was misbehaving. Lewis didn't do the right thing. Lewis did not make the right choices. And so we made a deal right there. And the rest of that school year, I was not a problem. And I know my peers, they say, hey, Lewis, you going you gonna to say something funny? Or, or I, I, no, 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 no. Those days are over. Those days are long gone, amen. Because I done saw the light. <laughs> yes, amen. I saw the light. I hope you will see the light, amen. School is not the place for clowns. No, it is not. It's not the place uh, to act all funny and, and disruptive and, and bully. And that's, that's not the place, amen. Now, you're not showing love for yourself, uh, for your family, amen. And let alone uh, the rules 
uh, of the school. Amen. So don't be a fool while you're in school. Amen. But be cool. Be cool to do the right thing, to make the right choice. Amen. Don't be like King Saul that made all the wrong choices. Amen. Uh, just because uh, he was taller or uh, because of his physical build, he felt like he could do whatever he wanted to do. Not so. Don't let flesh have your way. Act like you've got some sense. After all, you're in the educational system of learning. Learn how to behave yourself. <laughs> Yeah, we're talking about uh, sunshine, yes. The S-O-N, sunshine, love, yeah. Yes, I was a substitute teacher there at the Wynton Woods Middle School. I've said that before. Amen, that was quite an experience for me. I learned quite a few things, and I hope that uh, I was a, a blessing to those that uh, I was uh, about because uh, I was a, a, I took on an assignment uh, as the in-school suspension teacher the ASA, yeah, mm hmm. The alternative uh, school assignment, yeah. Uh -huh. And where uh, they sat in, in the same room all day and uh, they copied off of some things. And what was fascinating to me was that uh, these uh, copying uh, uh, this material and answer this question was at a sixth uh, grade level. It was so easy. And some came in there and they did what they had to do, <clears throat> they behaved themselves, and they was out of there, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then some came in there, and they continued to be disruptive. So I, I shared this with you, we're talking about love. Because uh, uh, this auntie, uh, I called, and uh, I told her about her niece and uh, the problems I was having, and uh, she said, well, uh, may I come up there? <clears throat> I said, yeah, sure. So she came on up there, and she said, may I... Uh, talk to her outside the classroom here. I said, well, yeah, sure. I mean, so uh, she stepped out in the hall uh, with this uh, uh, student. Amen. And then she began to, to talk to her and, and tell her, said, you know, your mama didn't want you. I said, oh, my goodness, what is this? <coughs> said, your mama did not even want you. Mm -hmm. I took you in. And all you got to do is dress and get out there and get the bus that stops almost in front of our house. I said to myself, what is going on out there? Well, you know, the students in the classroom, they heard this too. And that piqued their interest. And she said, don't you cause Mr. Ruffin any more problems. You shouldn't be in here anyway. Act like you got more sense than to come in here and have to do uh, this. And I'm going to say this again. I don't want to ever have to come back up here. And I don't ever want Mr. Ruffin to have to call me again. And so she left, and the student came in and sat down, and she began to do her work. And that was a beautiful day, because that just toned down the whole classroom. <laughs> I'm talking about the love of that auntie, yeah! Thank God for aunties and uh, cousins and uh, grandparents, amen, uh, that take on the extra load, amen, and show their love, and show their support, yes! Because mm -hmm. that's what we need today. We need to love and support one another and respect one another. Uh, you know, stop the violence. Spread some love. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, stop the bullying. Spread some love. Have some love power within yourselves. Amen. Don't get involved in things uh, that cause a whirlpool of harassment. Uh, don't continue to do wrong and line yourselves up uh, with people who are wrong. I remember even uh, in the uh, lunchroom there at Wentworth Middle School and uh, this young lady she decided to throw some food mm -hmm. we're talking about love power now uh, we're talking about sunshine and love she uh, uh, made it known that she didn't like the way he was talking to her so she threw some food uh, on him yeah like a food fight yes you know and so I, I said well you know I said just gonna gonna get you out of school for a while and uh she said, yes, Mr. Ruffin. She said, but that's the only thing that I, I knew to do because I just got tired of him annoying me and, and uh, acting the way he was acting toward me. And I'm, I'm just getting tired of it. So that's why I threw that food on him. And I said, well, I said, I'm sorry you didn't come and talk to me about it. And I said, uh, but I said, you know, you're going you're gonna to be out for a minute. And I, I said, I hope you think uh, it was worth it. She said, oh, yeah, Mr. Ruffin, I, I didn't know what else to do. I said, well, now I've given you a plan now. I said, if he bothers you or annoys you, I said, just come to me. I said, you know, there's other teachers in the K-12 
cafeteria too. I said, you can, you can talk to them and, uh, you know, we'll help you. I mean, there's other solutions than this. And so she said, uh, she said, all right. So she came back to school and uh, she happened to see me and she said, uh, uh, Mr. Ruffin, uh, you know, our class, uh, we're uh, honoring the people that we respect and we love and uh, we're inviting them to, to come in and uh, this is the day that we're, we're doing that. We're showing kindness to our teachers and, and the staff and, and the people uh, uh, believe, uh, just like I do, uh, the students there, and they want you to be in on it, come on in, get you some food and, and, and be with us for a minute when you get an opportunity. I said, well, you know, well, thank you. Well, thank you. I was able to meet the child's uh, sister and uh, <clears throat> also uh, uh, the parents, amen, and uh, she wrote me a nice uh, tribute, and I was very thankful about that. See, there's ways of being nice without being a ugly and, and rude and disrespectful and screaming and yelling and all these kind of things because we want the love of God to shine out of us, amen. Uh, if you are a uh, devil possessed uh, with that fussing uh, devil, amen, I come against it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood against that fussing devil in Jesus' name. Uh, arguments come against it in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your love shine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let the beauty of holiness shine out of your children, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, surround your children with your grace and with your truth, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We come against bullying in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, you love us, and we thank you. We're so grateful for your love, your great love, amen, uh, that you shine uh, on us, oh God. Bless us, we might be able to shine your love on someone else. Amen. Amen. Got to have the Holy Spirit. That's right. Because some people can be awful nasty. They can be downright ugly with nasty. Yes, yeah, they can. Amen. But you've got to have the Spirit of God. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. you got to have a heart to forgive. A heart to forget. Amen. And a heart to move on. Amen. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Because if we don't forgive, mm, God's not going to forgive us. And hell is too long, <laughs> too certain. Nobody should want to go to hell. Mm -hmm. Everybody ought to want to go to heaven. But everybody talking about heaven ain't going there because you don't have the Holy Spirit of God. And you cannot make lift off without the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. We're looking at this scripture. Amen. In verse number 14, 1 John uh, chapter 4, verse number 14. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. Not just one people, not just one color, but of the world. Yeah, the Savior of the world. Mm -hmm. Not just those that believe as he believed. Mm -hmm. And he went to the cross for the just as well as the unjust. And the unjust has an opportunity to be just. Amen by receiving the spirit of Jesus Christ. And the just uh, have an opportunity to draw even closer to the Lord. If we draw close to him, he will draw close to us. Amen. We get that sunshine love on the inside of us, uh, in uh, our hearts. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him and he in God. Now, I'm not just talking about lip service here. Amen. Amen. Let me read that again. Verse number 15 in 1 John chapter 4. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. It's a mutual thing. Amen. Now that you have the Holy Spirit, let the Holy Spirit rule and guide you and lead you. Amen. Amen. And uh, no discrimination. No. None. Amen. God is not a respecter of persons. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's not. Mm -hmm. He's declared, repent, and be baptized. Every one of you. Yeah. Everyone. That includes you. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, the purpose for the remission of sin. 
that you might receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, it's a gift. It's a gift. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many things that Apostle Peter said on that day of Pentecost. And then he went on further to say, I think, starting and testifying with these words, he said to save yourself from this untoward generation. Because this is a perverse and a crooked uh, generation. You know, Saul, he was busy trying to get rid of David, you know. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's not love uh, in word or neither in tongue. Because, you know, that's what Saul said. Saul uh, told Samuel. He said, yeah, hey, I got rid of everything uh, I was supposed to. And then uh, Samuel said, well, what's that I'm hearing? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you see, we got to love in deed and in truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we got to do what we say. You see, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, uh, uh, they didn't do uh, what uh, they said. Mm -hmm. uh, they talked a good game, but they never did it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like people that you talk to about church. Yeah, and you ask them what church they go to, and they can't think of the name and. Then you ask them the pastor's name, they don't know the pastor's name. And then you uh, uh, ask them where is the church, and they don't know where the church is. Yeah, you got it, right? Uh -huh. Now, don't lie, if you're not a church member, you're not a church. I don't go to church anymore. Yeah, you know it. And that is it, yeah. But tell the truth, amen. Tell the truth. Yeah, I go to church, but I don't participate. I just go, I'm, I, I just sit there, I'm a piece of the furniture. And when they say just miss, I, I go. Mm, yeah, yeah. Saul despised David. You know, and those that walk in the flesh, uh, they despise the people that walk in the spirit. Yeah. Saul despised David because David behaved himself wisely and received presents of goodwill. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't people give you stuff because they like you? Because there's something about you that attracts them? So they give you stuff? Yeah. And they're good? Yeah. And he behaved himself Wisely, mm -hmm. yes, he did. Yeah, uh -huh. but you see, uh, uh, there's something about it. Hmm. Uh, a woman, yeah, and the women answered one another as they played their instruments of music. Oh yeah, women musicians. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Well, instruments are all through the Bible. Yes, they are. Hey, Amen. You know, whoever's against musical instruments, you know, the devil had a hand in that. Sure he did. Yeah. Yeah. The trumpet was used uh, throughout Israel. Yeah. Uh, for coming together, uh, for times of war, there were signals. Yes. The trumpet, an instrument. Uh, when they would go to battle, there was instrument. Well, throughout all the Bible, yeah. Get in the Bible and you'll find out, amen, that let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's Psalm 150 and those lyre psalms there. Amen. Uh, 48 and 49 and uh, some others there talk about instruments. Amen. Uh, playing skillfully on instruments. Oh, glory. Jesus. Amen. amen. We're talking about love. Love. Love that music. Yeah. Glory. Praise his name. Thank you, Lord. Mm. The women answer one another as they play their instruments of music. Saul has killed thousands. David has killed 10,000. You see? Uh -huh. You know, flesh don't like that when you compliment somebody else. And flesh don't like it if somebody has done more than what that person has done. And they're going to do everything they can to assassinate uh, that reputation. Oh, yeah, it, it's not true. It's a lie. But uh, they're determined uh, to make like it is true. But it is, uh, it's wrong. Yes, it is. It's wrong. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Saul was displeased with David and was scared of David, jealous of, of David, envious of David. Mm -hmm. And all David did was behave himself wisely. Amen. Yeah, when he went before uh, the people, Saul saw opportunities to kill David, and that's what's happening today. Amen. Uh, anybody that's good and, and mean right, uh, those that don't mean right and don't mean good, Amen. Are going to do their best to assassinate uh, their reputation to lie upon them. Uh, how many times have you protected somebody? You should have told on them, but instead they told on you like it was your fault. 
I remember so many uh, years ago that uh, Ella Phillips, uh, my pastor at that time, at Zion Temple uh, there in Cincinnati on Gilbert Avenue. It's been a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he took me in the office and we sat down and talked. And he said, uh, uh, Elder Ruffin, he said, I want to uh, tell you something. He said, I, I want to show you this scripture. He said, uh, I know things are going on uh, right now. And uh, he said, I want you to, to look at this scripture, think about it for a minute. Uh, and he, he turned there to Corinthians and he said, to suffer wrong. He said, I know you was right, Elder. I know you were right. And I, I know that what was said was not right. He said, but I want you to suffer wrong. And I got to thinking about that. Isn't that what Jesus did? Yes, he did. He loved us so much, he went to the cross, and there was nothing wrong with him. <laughs> Wasn't a thing wrong with Jesus. Even Pilate said, I find no fault in him. Yeah, Jesus willingly went to the cross. He said, I lay it down, my life, and I pick it up because I love you. Yeah, because I care about you. Amen. Yeah. I'll accept the iniquity. I'll accept the sin. I'll accept the reproach. I'll accept the shame. I'll go to the cross. I'll make myself a curse for you, you and you, because I love you. Yeah. God so loved the world. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think about those that spit on him and uh, mocked him and did all kind of things uh, to him, but he went on with his mission. He went on with his assignment. He went on with his purpose. Oh, yeah, because it's all about being driven by love, yeah, and always doing those things that please the Father, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was Adam that failed, but Jesus succeeded. Mm -hmm. The first man was a failure, but the second man mm -hmm, was the Lord from heaven, amen, and he did everything right, and there was no failure in him. And he declared all power. Yeah, when he got up out of that grave, he declared that all power. Heaven and earth is given unto me. And we got, we got that power, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Saul, he had many opportunities. And yeah, he worked those opportunities to kill David, but he was not successful. No weapon that's formed against you. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not going to surpass, but no, it's not going to happen. Saul was a perfect illustration of a hater. Are murderers. People hate because they are consumed with displeasure and fear. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fear is the opposite of love, and hate is the root of all evil. Mm -hmm. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And because iniquity shall abound. Yeah, always doing something wrong. Amen. That's right. Iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold, according to Second Timothy and Matthew twenty four twelve. Saul was cold minded toward David inwardly and outwardly showed false love. We got that today, don't we? False love. You know I love everybody, you can't get along with anybody. <laughs> Yeah, we're talking about sunshine, love. It's something about it, isn't it? Yes, it is. Bless his holy name. False love is rejection, inner rejection of a person, and an outward expression of concern. Saul wanted David at the dinner table mm -hmm, to kill him, yeah, and almost killed Jonathan. Sam. Yeah, see, you're so busy trying to hurt one person you end up almost hurting somebody else that has nothing to do with your inner feelings. No, sir. Uh, uh, no, ma'am. Mm -mm. So I wanted to kill anyone associated with David. Uh, and so that's why we have cliques in the church, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cliques is not a sign of love. No, it is not. Mm -mm. No. Uh, yeah. It's all about Jesus and him. He was crucified. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He went to the grave for you and for me. God bless you today. Christian Care Ministry, your host, Louis Ruffin. It's just been a blessing, amen, to be with you today. And we thank God for you.